Alright. Bring it over here. Okay, so this is what I've been working on to try to put my music onto the iPad. Uh, first, I went to um, look up what would be a good application for, yeah, for the iPad to pull up sheet music and stuff. So I found this one called Foursquare. Foursquare pretty much allows you to put like sheet music or chords or anything um, to the iPad. It does cost money, so it's five bucks if you do download it. It's okay, I'm still figuring it out. I barely, barely purchased it today, so I'm still kind of working out the bugs and how to transfer stuff. Um, uh, they do have a pretty good uh, manual in the beginning of it that will just kind of give you details on how to use it and what you can do. So you can pretty much transfer your own or upload your own stuff onto it. But it's great instead of having a big binder full of a bunch of music sheets, and this is all heavy and you're trying to carry this around, you can have it on here where it's real light and you can just pull it up at any time. So that's kind of the purpose of it. But pretty much what I had to do uh, first, um, they, they tell you to, you, you, you want to download it onto your desktop computer. I did two different ones. Uh, after you download, again, the app is called Fourscore. Fourscore. After you download Fourscore, um, they work with a third party company that's called Dropbox. So what I did was I just went on dropbox.com. So I'll kind of just do it again for you guys. Dropbox.com. And then it has uh, the download link right here. So you just click the download and you let it install onto the desktop computer. Once it installs, you'll see it on here on your desktop. And then when you open it up, it pulls up a folder like this. Um, and this is pretty nice because you can s create your own folders. Like say I want to do um, praise songs. So I typed in praise songs. And all I would have to do from that point on would be to drag, a, a, say I have a file. I'm going to see if I can pull up a document or something. Okay, so say I have a song right here or something. Okay, all you would have to do is... Um, you can save it as a PDF, it could be a Word document, whatever you want. You drag it into that folder. Okay. So once you drag that into the folder and, you, and your computer and your iPad are connected on the Wi-Fi network, all you do is you go in Foursquare, Foursquare. you hit the menu button on the side over here and you hit Dropbox. It's right there. And then you log into your account, it'll ask you your email and your password because you have to create one for this. And um, what you do is, after you do that, Dropbox, open with, share, okay. You would hit cloud here. Okay, wait, downloaded it twice, hold up. real quick to see okay there's like a refresh button that you'll need to hit um, edit done back okay so you go back and see you can see your folder so remember I created praise songs so what you do is you hit praise songs and then it has the document here but I think um I think for this one it just works with PDF files. So you would have to um, pretty much, you can you can usually pull up PDF files for your sheet music. I just use chords, but you can pretty much save a PDF file and whatnot to your desktop and then just drag that PDF file in here and you can pull it up on here like I did for example, Heart of Worship. Um, it does flip pages too, so it's pretty nice. Uh, you can just hit tap the screen and go to the next page. Or you can, um, there was this thing I was pulling up, you could also get like a pedal and just tap the pedal and what it'll do is it'll turn the page for you if you're playing guitar or something like that and you can't physically tap the page. There's a pedal that um, works for iPads by Bluetooth and uh, it'll turn the page for you so it's pretty nice. Uh, it's just a little run through with the app called Fourscore. Alrighty.